Cancers, this is your weekly reading for May. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Okay, I was just looking at your cards here. I'll show you. It says take your time and outcome. Take your time. Don't prescribe an outcome. An outcome. It's just something you're working on. I don't know why I just paused like that. That was a little crazy. Um, let's go on here, Cancer. You guys, I have asked everyone else so i'm asking you to leave down in the comments section what type of readings you would like to see here in the month of may i have my own ideas of what i'm working on but i would definitely like to incorporate things that you guys may be interested in throughout the reading itself here okay so leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys would like to see this month okay please give me the cards here for cancer for some reason, that outcome card is sticking out in my head. Don't prescribe an outcome, okay? Oh, okay. You guys have be, be your brilliant self and stay on course and self-care. Pretty simple. Excuse me. Pretty simple that it is coming in here. I feel like they're saying something about staying on course because you guys may be dealing with some changes here in your life. Cancer? I don't I'm gonna hold on one second <laughs> you may be dealing with some changes here in your life you got the number 50 on this card stay on course okay 50 which is five okay and numerology here or well, period adding it up some of you guys may be dealing with a karmic situation that's coming to a close okay there may be some words between you and someone <clears throat> someone else here excuse me you guys you got 333 that's coming in here as well, okay? So you guys may have to rely on your own self, rely on yourself here to make something happen. You may be releasing someone or karmic karmic connection here, okay? Ooh, I'm going to get a message from your karmic person here. That's what, that's what I feel like I need to do, get a message from your karmic person with this coming in here and also just look at the situation itself. But yeah don't get uh don't let this situation take you off course okay let's go in we'll talk about this more you guys have be your brilliant self and karmic completion here coming in with this gray this gray makes me feel like there's some things that are unknown when you're looking at gray okay well yeah when gray comes into your reading it's something unknown maybe you guys are trying to do something do something with the root chakra color coming in here you're trying to start something but there's too much uh, there's too many unknown factors where you don't have enough information or yeah enough information to make to feel comfortable enough to move forward or make a decision here okay let's read this be your brilliant self card and we'll clarify this be your brilliant self today be brilliant this card asks you to get in touch with your extraordinariness with the extraordinariness of everyday living go about your daily life doing everything to the very best of your ability here cancer be extraordinary in an ordinary way you guys are always going to hear me chuckle at that sentence be extraordinary in an ordinary way how okay your brilliance will be will radiate into the world creating more change than you could possibly imagine let's clarify this karmic connection here what do you what do you want cancer to know and it has a number 10 on it so there is some completion here to some karmic there is some karmic completion going on and i felt like i just said karmic connection so we're going to check on that too what is this karma who okay you guys have the seven of pentacles coming in the four of wants and the star card that is showing up for you here okay it may have a lot to do with your family history that's what i'm feeling seven of pentacles four of wands star card here i feel like you were your ancestors wish here they wanted you to complete some karmic um cycle that was happening in your bloodline here that's what spirit is letting me know let me know more about a relationship a karmic connection and a relationship here what is going on with the karmic connection for cancer oh they all about that business oh shoot you know who you're dealing with okay knight of wands 
here okay so there's some karmic con connection with a player that you try to make um a homebody Shit, <laughs> stop it okay <laughs> i'm not gonna say what you think i'm gonna say you can't make a whatever okay you're trying to make a player a uh, homebody and it's not gonna happen so that uh, i'm saying that because you have a higher fit card someone that's very traditional that wants the traditional life here but no your boo wants other boos okay that's what i'm feeling here knight of wands they like to skippity skip and hop hop into different situations here and they're not going to be a homebody here so the spirit is saying okay you've you've seen this person you've learned an experience with them you've seen this possible uh, reckless behavior with the knight of wands here uh in this karmic connection have you gotten enough do you have the uh the answers that you've been seeking here with this thrill seeker hothead okay i feel like you have learned a lesson here and you're possibly learning to put yourself first now cancer with the six of wands you know what you want you want a successful connection relationship someone that you can depend on and count on someone that puts you first that honors you okay and you guys put each other on the pedestal here okay in various ways i definitely feel like um you will be able to successfully find a relationship that is not karmic bound um, because the Hierophant and the Six of Wands is letting me know that you will meet someone in the near future here. Six months. Okay. They're telling me six months. Okay. Give yourself time to heal from a situation, some karmic lesson that you have learned or some karmic connection that you guys had uh with someone with a player basically that's what i'm saying here okay so spirit is saying stay on course and don't let this situation take you off course uh whether it is karmic um or karmic bloodline that you guys were dealing with karma that you were dealing with in your bloodline spirit is saying you put in a lot of hard work don't underestimate yourself here cancel with the seven of pentacles here okay uh this is a divine message coming in towards you by your master ascendants with the number th 33 card coming in and they're saying stay on course and focus on communication so speak with us uh, hmm, give me the word spirit speak with vision okay stay on course you are feeling some big stuff in your life you are facing some big stuff in your life right now cancer this card is a request that you keep going and stay on course some of you guys are breaking up with people other other cancers you're uh clearing that bloodline okay you're dealing with karmic things and like i said your spirit guides your ancestors are congratulating you you were sent forth to clear your bloodline here so they're saying you're doing a fantastic job that's what i'm feeling here okay you're bringing a lot of balance and honor to your ancestors here and you are possibly um bringing balance to uh to your family here your bloodline okay with that four of wands more stability okay so you're doing a fantastic job this card is a is a request here cancer that you keep going and stay on course however challenging this may feel and the challenging uh energy is coming from that five okay that is showing up on this card it could be challenges changes that you're not prepared for some of you guys feel like it, changes and challenges are creating delays in your life some of you guys are on a spiritual path you don't know why you're doing the things that you have to do you're clearing your bloodline but you guys also feel very alienated here you may be changing the whole uh, dynamic or history of your bloodline here by doing things in a different way but i definitely feel cancer that you're changing for the better okay you're changing certain things in your bloodline for the better so the change is either happening uh in your own life or you are uh creating a whole new family dynamic with your own children and your own family here that is going to change your bloodline you're doing things better than they were done in the past okay i had to give you that message that won't resonate with everyone but let's go on your car says please uh, please be reassured please be reassured that um that right now this is the appropriate way forward okay the universe supports your direction and slow and steady progress is assured in your life make sure you speak up for yourself as well your words are golden yeah that golden tongue that's what i feel here okay so if, speak up for yourself when you need to and communicate with vision okay that's what i feel speak life into um speak words of 
life, okay? And to everything that you want. Don't speak negatively about yourself. That's what I feel. Or what is going to be happening or what you want to happen in your life, okay? Speak positively. That's what I mean. They uh, want you to take a leadership role and focus on self care at this time as well very important now and, and for the next several weeks here cancer your card is saying self-care is is an act of selfishness is not let me repeat that self-care is not an act of selfishness others may think it is okay because you're not focused on the ass no more it is an act of consciousness so you're consciously making a decision to take care of yourself you're taking a leadership role in taking care of yourself and your life and the things that you truly want in your life okay this card invites you to prioritize your own self-care make uh, this may feel selfish to you but in truth when you attend to your own needs with love and care you create an inner wealth that radiates into the world impacting positively on all that you come in contact with with period. Some of you guys may be leaving a karmic situation and choosing yourself because this person does not align with your true uh, morals and values and what you're trying to create in your bloodline, in your life. They're not a good partner. That's what I mean. Okay. Sorry, I got to raise my voice. They're not, they're not a good partner. They're going this way and you are going that way. Okay. I'm going to tell you how I see that. They're going one way and you're going the other. Okay. But you're looking very mighty successful, okay? Possibly because, like I said, they don't align with your morals and your values. And that is okay. Put yourself first. Focus on your own self-care. This person may be like, Cancer, you selfish. All you, you talk about self and you want this and what. Yeah, go get it, Cancer. Don't let nobody stop you, okay? All right. <laughs> Look at this at the bottom of the deck. Look at you walking away. Is that what you guys did? Look, look, you walking towards prosperity, though, okay? And new opportunities. That's what I'm seeing. And spirit has your back. That's why you have the Ace of Pentacles behind that Eight of Cups. What other messages do you have here for Cancer now, this week, and for the next several weeks, spirit, okay? What message do you have here for Cancer? They're saying one more time. One more time. There we go. Look, <laughs> same card that I did not say anything. I saw it, but I just didn't address it. Okay. They're wanting you to focus on, and I'm going to say this every time it comes out, focus on long-term plans for yourself. I feel like you guys are looking over the shore because you know that your ships are about to come in. You are waiting for them to dock so you can board and get all of your gold off of them damn ships. And you're wondering, why are you guys diddling and daddling in that damn water? Bring me my prize, okay? <laughs> Bring me my ship. <laughs> Basically, that's what I feel with the three of wands, okay? It's like you're a shepherd, but it is your ships that you're calling in, okay? Bring me my stuff. You have the three of wands coming in. That is also about taking a leadership role in your life with that three of wands and choosing your partners very wisely. Choose your partners very wisely and focus on creating long-term plans. And look at that. Focusing on progress in your life. You see him holding that one staff, that one wand, okay? It's all about your ideas, um, about your new beginning, about your self-confidence, you being um, motivated for change in your life here, okay? I definitely feel like uh, new possibilities are coming in towards you, but everyone won't like it, okay? So I feel like someone has know something about you you may have it confided in someone here that you were very close uh close to it could be a close friend or it could have been a past lover or a lover that you're thinking about leaving now and someone is going to try to dig up some dirt to try to taint your name as i'm holding this and it's grounding you it's making me feel like there's there's people that's going to try to hate on you or tarnish your name here so that you don't get ahead i don't feel like they can stop you and i'm going to clarify this okay so we can get a clear picture of why this five of swords is showing up for you okay it's someone that you left behind or you're leaving behind here six of cups in the reverse position here okay someone that disappointed you someone that refuses to grow up um someone that's stuck in stuck in the past here and i feel like you're no longer uh wanting to be stuck in the past 
you're not wanting to take to play kid games you're grown okay cancer that's what i feel like is happening here five of swords coming in here um and the six of cups in reverse you're refusing to step into the step go backwards okay you're focused on new beginnings in your life that's why you have the ace of wands crossing you um it's an opportunity and you see these opportunities you see that a new beginning for yourself or other things are more um appealing to you and you're going towards better here and other people don't like that you are leaving them behind here what's going on then okay so we already know it's someone from your past here that you have become lethargic with <laughs> okay and you're probably denying them access to you didn't i tell you they're gonna be talking watch page of swords talking behind your back all on social media who does cancer think they are okay just gonna leave the the group like that leave me like that you know you're wrong you did this you this way don't don't feed into it block they ass okay and keep going sorry for cursing block them block them okay don't feed the beast that's what spirit is saying Four of Swords, rest on them. Don't feed it. Don't give them your time and your attention. Don't give get don't give the uh don't give over your energy to a situation to a person here. Okay, let's keep going and see what the past energy looks like very quickly because I don't want to be stuck in the past energy here. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> They're saying quickly move past that energy. Okay, Knight of Swords. It's time to transition. Out of the past here you knew that already you took quick action or the spirit is saying make a quick decision here okay or make a decision period here on moving um, along from the past leaving the past behind you here okay a lot of you guys have done this already what's crowning you right now is you okay i feel like the king of pentacles energy is you here cancer you are focused on yourself your own stability your own wealth your own health um and becoming a, the best version of yourself king of pentacles it's going to be all good okay in the future energy like i said your spirit guys are congratulating you for the hard work that you have put in the things that you have done they're also letting me know with that sub card that better times are ahead okay better things are coming towards you a lot of happiness a lot of success okay Ooh. <laughs> but you will be tempted here i feel with the devil card this is what you don't know this is what you don't know okay with the devil card that is showing up for you that there's going to be jealousy okay <sighs> period i don't have anything else to say about that they there will be jealous eyes on you here okay no worry because you you're standing tall here okay um with the empress card that is showing up for you that's what you need to be aware of that you need to nurture yourself that's why you have this self-care card in this leadership card that's coming in even though uh, as you learn tarot okay the empress card is kind of really needy okay i don't know how to take care of her damn self she just needs stuff um and likes to be pampered okay but i'm telling you that you need to focus on self-care and that's what i feel when this card is showing up pamper yourself love yourself especially with the venus energy that's coming in here love yourself take care of yourself and don't feel like this is a selfish act here okay so do what's right for you okay the words is behind you some of you guys you're not going to like this backstabbing energy that I'm seeing here with this page of swords and this five of swords that we have right here. But it, it will be there, okay? But the worst is behind you if you don't keep feeding the beast, especially leaving the past behind you and the people. Yes, there we go. This is your final outcome. And I told you, spirit has your back here. Your ancestors see you. Your prayers are being answered. Ten of Cups that's coming in here. You're going to have that um, emotional happiness and stability that you are searching, uh, searching for. The security, the wealth, the health. Okay, once you uh, leave the past behind and focus on yourself. Uh, Spirit is promising security and joy will enter into your life here. Sun card in the Ten of Cups energy. Pleasant, pleasant change from this Ten of Swords. I feel also there's going to be clarity on the people that have put you in this position to begin with here, okay? 
who has stabbed you in your back, who's been talking about you, these people are going to become clear because the sun card is showing you or will show you in the future who you really need to cut off here, okay? Cancer, that is your reading. You're saying all this shit is going to happen in a week. No, <laughs> it's not going to happen in a week, okay? But it will happen, definitely. Check this reading again within the next several weeks here. A lot of things are going to be going on in your life. A lot of success will come towards you within the next six months. A lot of beautiful things are going to be happening in your life. That's what I'm feeling, okay? But this is just the beginning of what's going to truly come into fruition for you. If you guys resonate with this reading, if you want to resonate with it, make sure you give it a thumbs up so it can be shared here on YouTube. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already and hit that notification bell. And I will We'll see you in your next reading. Take care, Cancer. Bye.